go. And that is Verdugo in the red, getting after it. Anything other than a win is a disappointment. Like, that's just when you're ranked the way you are and the expectations are there, you, they need to win every race. Bring up a junior. Good four flat for 1500. Senior Chris Verdugo. expected more from themselves. They held themselves to a higher standard. Chris Verdugo stepped in and kind of closed that gap. For yeah, a team like I that, mean, you need something to especially just remember that you can't be complacent. What do you have right now? I got seven miles and I'm just warming up my legs, stretching a little bit before I get out. How'd you feel? Pretty good. Not my best day, but we got speed in the afternoon, so gotta take <laughs> it easy this morning. So we just finished our seven mile run, and now we're headed to Dynamic Fitness to uh, stretch and roll to recover for this afternoon's hard workout. Why the backwards hat? <laughs> well, at first it was because my hair was so long at the time that I, didn't, I needed something just when I ran, just to keep it out of my face. But then after a while, I started liking it and it just became my thing. <laughs> and I wanted to wear it in races and it helps people recognize me, I guess. <laughs> Chris is dedicated, there's no doubt about that. You've known him long enough to, mm -hmm. to know that he puts in the time, he puts in the work and effort that it, uh, that it takes to make him uh, a better runner. The one hurdle he has to overcome is he needs to understand that he is an elite level runner and he can pretty much beat everybody out here. Michael, Michael's everywhere. <laughs> we got Michael, well, it's because he, he would bet with us. Uh, so we got him there, we got his, his shoes there, okay. and the Michael Norman headband. Spent about an hour there, so about 9 a.m. Now I eat breakfast or lunch, whatever, and just relax for a couple hours until our next workout. Six degrees, and we're about to do core. Lovely. Time for sand routine. Chris is gonna go off super fast. He's gonna run a 150 because Miles was here. Dude, Moss puts always here though, technically. <laughs> So my first 800 was 217, then a minute rest, then we did two mile tempo, and I got 509 average. Go. Hey, Jeff, hey, Jeff.
last mile for me. Oh, I didn't really feel it. Cause here on my loop, it's uphill from mile, from the first mile. What? Probably 1.25 to we get there, then the rest is downhill. Ugh. And the windy, it's never not windy in Jamaica. Ugh. Pretty good, I did. My 800 was faster that time, 214. I felt it in that tempo though. I got a 515 average. So, good day. Pretty good day. My usual tempos are like 510, so. We're right there. Four two hundred, so in half a mile, I did a two four, so thirty one in each two hundred. So now, after every other day, we do a core hit, which is high intensity. So we have a routine, routine one, two, and three, and today is uh, what's today? Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> so then we got core routine one. Chris, Chris, he's the man. If he can do it, no one can. That's it. Thank you for watching. That was a day in life with me. Watch out for a great up this year.